thunder shower at some point. Rahel, that is far from the headline here for the weather for the next couple of days, in fact. So the heat is absolutely, you said it, the big story for us, as is the humidity. Uh, one place to try to beat the worst of it would be the shore, but it's also going to be very hot here. Here's my advice. If you really want to spend some time outside, and especially if you're going to be doing anything that requires exertion, make sure that you're doing so before the heat of the day really gets underway. 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. is where that heat really peaks at this time of year. So you've got a couple of hours of a window of opportunity to get it in. That, granted, it's still very steamy out here, and uh, this is how it looks outside Beach Patrol headquarters, a little hazy, but you are going to see that sun really bake things here at the uh, surface. So here's how it'll feel. As hot as 103 this afternoon, as hot as 101 tomorrow, still not a picnic on Saturday, up to 96, but at least there's some easing up at this point. All things considered, the daytime high reaching 96, flirting with record territory. That'll be brutal enough here today, but again, it feels so much worse when you factor in that humidity. So the shore, if you're headed out that way, as we had showed you a moment ago, all generally clear, a little hazy at the onset, but the water temperature is 75. Have your umbrellas ready to go on the beach, too, because you will be scorching under that sunshine. And uh, the high, again, 93 degrees even at the beaches. So a lot of times you get some relief if you get closer to the shore, but it's not really all that much better out that way. An excessive heat warning or heat advisory is posted basically region wide starting at noontime. Now, by the time we hit early next week, finally, there's a break in this pattern and we are back to even below average Tuesday and Wednesday, Misha, but with some sunshine.